bodies of man and his slave unearthed from ashes at pompeii skeletal remains of what are believed to have been a rich man and his male slave attempting to escape death from the eruption of mount vesuvius nearly 2000 years ago have been discovered in pompeii officials at the archaeological park in delhi said saturday parts of the skulls and bones of the two men were found during excavation of the ruins from what was once an elegant villa with a panoramic view of mediterranean sea on the outskirts of the ancient roman city destroyed by the volcano eruption in 79 ad it's the same area where a stable with the remains of three harnessed horses were excavated in 2017 Pompey official said the man apparently escaped the initial fall of ash from Mount Vesuvius then succumbed to a powerful volcanic blast that took place the next morning the later blast apparently invaded the area from many points surrounding and burying the victims in ash the remains of two victims lying next to each other on their backs were found in a layer of grey ash at least 2 meters deep as has been done when other remains have been discovered at the pompeii site archaeologists pour liquid chalk poured into the cavity or void left by the decaying body in the ash and pumice that rained down from the volcano near modern day naples and demolish the upper levels of the villa the technique pioneered in the 1800s gives image not only of the shape and position of the victims in the door of death but makes the remains seem like statues said masimo ozano an archaeologist who is director general of archaeological park operated under the jurisdiction of Italian culture ministry judging by corneal bones and teeth one of the men was young like age 18 to 25 with a spinal column with compressed discs that finding lead archaeological to hypothesize that he was a young man who did manual labor like that of a slave the other man had a robust bone structure especially in his chest area and died with his hand on his chest and his leg bent and spread apart he was estimated to have been 30 to 40 years old fragments of white paint were found near the man's face probably remnants of a collapsed upper wall both skeletons were found in a side room along an underground corridor or passage way known in ancient roman times as a cryptoporticus which lead to the upper level of the villa the victims were probably looking for shelter in the cryptoporticus in this underground space where they thought they were better protected instead on the morning of 79 ad a blazing cloud of volcanic material arrived in pompeii and killed anyone it encountered on its way based on the impression of fabric folded left in the ash layer it appeared the younger man was wearing a short pleated tunic possible of wool the older victim in addition of wearing a tunic appeared to have had a mantle over his left shoulder mount vesuvius remains an active volcano while excavation continue at the site near naples tourists are currently banned from the archaeological park under national anti covid 19 measures